It's an incurable disease that makes it difficult to breathe. The quality of life just was just deteriorating. But a relatively new procedure helped this woman find relief. That's right, we're talking about chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, often called COPD. And the third leading cause of death in the United States, claiming more than 120,000 American lives every year. But in tonight's Good Health, our Dr. Frank Me George gives us a closer look at a new procedure helping patients breathe easier without invasive surgery. In certain types of advanced COPD, the alveoli, the microscopic air sacs that we rely on to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide within the lungs, well, they become damaged and they form large balloon-like blebs, as we call them. Well, these blebs are bad, and this procedure can shrink them. Decades of smoking took a toll on Betty Jones, leaving her with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and struggling to breathe. My breathing was just bad, 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 that, that the quality of life just was just deteriorating. There's damage isolated to the upper lobes of the lung. And basically the upper lobe of the lungs are basically hollowed out. And so they're all damaged and scarred and they're just empty dead space at this point. Surgery to remove the damaged section of lungs is invasive and risky. We found that surgically it did help their quality of life, but the downside of it was the whole post-op recovery time, the recovery time, and also the complications of putting someone who's already pretty sick through surgery also was another issue. The Zephyr endobronchial valve was approved by the Food and Drug Administration in June of 2018. Henry Ford Hospital began offering the procedure this past May. The University of Michigan Health System offers it as well, using one to four tiny valves like this. What we do is we basically place a valve into the airways of that damaged lung causing the lung to collapse. And once that part of the lung collapses, it allows the healthy part of the lung to sort of take over the space. And now the patient has much more efficient breathing. For Betty, the relief was almost immediate. I could feel myself breathing deeper and not, not a struggle. And she's gradually cutting back her need for oxygen to just a couple hours a day. I'm breathing better, yes, 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 yes. Now, the procedure isn't for everyone, so you should talk to your pulmonologist to see if it might be appropriate. I'm Dr. Frank McGeorge. Back to you.